Hello everyone. Today I am going to be doing my setup video for my new planner. I am switching from my last year's planner, obviously. This was actually two different things. I think I have Colorful Harmony Vertical at the first half, and then from January on I switched over to the Color Blends Hourly. <laughs> so it's half hourly, half vertical. And I had a gold coil. I'm kind of sad about the gold coil because I decided to go with platinum this year. I just felt like I'm going to be using canvas and I felt like the platinum went better with the canvas tabs. I don't know why. I'm still regretting it a little bit. But I do have a daily duo I'm going to be using, the A5 daily duo, and it has a gold coil. So maybe I'll be okay and I can have two different coils. Anyway, the first thing I want to do, and you can see I've like marked what I want to do. The first thing I want to do, however, is switch the cover on this. So this is the cover I actually ordered with it. I don't know, it's kind of like a little boring for me right now. I've been using this, one of the vegan leather covers, which by the way, they do not stay on as well as the normal covers. They're fine, they're fine. But like for example, I just got a package from Erin Condren, it's, I'll be showing that next week. And one of the planners that they sent me had one of these vegan leather covers on it and it had fallen off. Like it just popped off in the shipping. So if you're like, I haven't dealt with a lot of this popping off very much while it's been sitting around the house, but this planner is getting a little chunky. You can see this is 12 months. Here's a normal 12 month planner. So it is getting chunky now that I've used it so much, I don't think it would stand very well. Anyway, so I decided I don't want to do another vegan leather, at least for a little while, and I want something brighter. So the first thing I do is I'm just going to take off the cover from the front and back. I just, this feels very similar to the color I had, the Wisteria uh, vegan leather that I had on for the past couple months, and I want something new. I'm going to put on the You Matter cover. This one's so fun and so cute, and... I think this is still available. It's definitely not a new cover, but I've never used it. <laughs> I ordered it last year and, well, maybe I did. Maybe I used it for a little while, but I just want something bright and happy. And I feel like this is just the ticket. It's so cute. It's a really cute cover and it's bright and happy. Okay, one funny thing to tell you. I don't know, did I even ever put a name on this? Oh, I did. I did eventually write my name in here, but I think I did it last month. It took me forever. I don't know why that was kind of scary to me. I wrote this with a brush pen. I decided I'm just going to get out my old stickers. I made some stickers for myself with my handwriting like a long time ago. And so it's not on like my traditional sheets, but I'm gonna use those and just put my name down first. I feel, and you don't have to use stickers and it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you don't care that much, just write your name, <laughs> write your name in there. I'm going to use a sticker. So these are the stickers that I wrote. I think I'm going to go for um, the smallest size. If I can get them up. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> I don't currently offer these. It's just too hard for me, especially because when I hand write them, it takes a long time. I did it once. And then it was just too much. I might in the future offer custom and use my handwriting font that I made. I don't sell that font, by the way. It's just something I use for stickers. That is one page that I don't have to be scared about anymore. And I could take that off. I'm not sure why I did this, but I did put a little pocket down in the next page. These are from, I think, Jane's Agenda? I can't remember. I'll put it down below where I got these pockets from. I love this grid one. There's also like this, this, I don't know. I got like four different pockets. So they're adhesive. They're stuck to this first page. And I think I thought I could put my stickers for this next page in here in case I need to add them too. I'm going to be using this for my kids' school schedule. You can see I wrote school schedule there. Um, I was kind of like thinking what I should do for this for a while. And I'm going to bring back an old trend that I did a long time ago. And I got the idea from another planner person and use one of my these little cards that came with my planner. And this is going to be my key. I'm then going to bring in one of these 3M coil clips from Erin Condren and stick it to it. 
And then this will be in here as my key for the school schedule. So I'll show this in a second. So it will be like that and then it will clip in. And then here it will tell me the key for all the color coding that I'm gonna be doing in here. I am going to be using a new thing in my shop. It will be up when this video goes live. And these are just transparent dots. They're in all of the colors that I usually use on my stickers. And those usually correlate pretty well with the Erin Condren colors, plus there's a few more. So these are these are just kind of like really good basic colors that that we can use. And then I have my kids' school schedule, which I'm going to be using to set this up. I'm going to do that now while the camera is rolling and you can watch me fill it out and then I'll talk about it in a little bit. And I just need to clip this in down here and it has the key. So I have first day, no school, half day, holiday break, Christmas break, because that one's so long I needed to use a lot of stickers, so I just did like a lighter blue, and then last day was red. So start and go, red and green. And then I just love that I can do this at first glance. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a sticker to cover this part where they're not in school, and I'm going to be doing a first day and a last day here. All right, I'm going to take this little, um, it's just a piece of white plain sticker paper. You could just use a white paper that is not sticker paper too and just glue it down. But I'm just covering these up because I am only putting this down, or this page is solely dedicated to my kid's school. So I really don't need this page at all. And... Then I'm going to use this to put down a first day of all my kids and a last day of all my kids. So I'm going to use some of the washi from this kit too to put down here. And then this was a freebie that you actually can get if you order this month. And it just has this first day and last day. It matches this kit. But you can just request, if this is the one that you want, you can just request these stickers. And I am going to put, you know what? I'm changing my mind. I've decided I want to move this to the bottom. It's just kind of a busier one. And I feel like it's not as easy to read. Plus, I don't know if it was on there straight. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of the page, which again will help see the seam of that sticker paper anyway. So that will go down there. And then I'm going to use this one that's a little less busy to go at the top. So this one will go up here if I can get it straight. I didn't cut it exactly straight and so I just have to, I'm just, it's bugging me that I can't get this straight across. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Okay, and now I'm gonna put down my first day and last day. So that one will go here. And then I'm just gonna use this ruler to draw a dotted line down. Like that, and then I'll have the other one say last day. And like I said, I'm just gonna put like a big picture down of my kids here. Maybe, maybe it will be a collage, I'm not sure. But if you're interested in these stickers, just let me know in the next order that you place. It has to be this month. It has to be in the month of June, so you don't have a ton of time. Um, but request that you want the school, the school freebie. Okay. Okay, the last thing I want to do is just put like a little bit of decor down. So I'm going to use um, the books. And... I'll just put them up here in this corner. I don't really need that month. And an apple. And then in this corner, I think I'm going to put, actually I'm gonna put the little crayons here. And then, I don't know, I kind of want the backpacks. I might put the backpacks down on the 
first day and last day like that. I think that's good enough. So that looks very like back to school. I might make a header for like school, school schedule or something, but as of right now, that's good enough. Okay, let's move on. All right, for this page, it's gonna be another school page. This is just gonna be like a group picture of all my kids, although I have one that's going to college, so I don't know if she's gonna make it in. But this page is individual, and I love this. I've done this for a couple years now. I didn't do it last year because I was like figuring out what planner I wanted to use. <laughs> took me a while last year. So this is what it is. This side is the first day. So this half will be the first day. The other half will be the second or the last day, sorry. And then I just put a picture of my kids. It's covering up some personal information, but I put some of their favorites, their school that they're in, their teacher that they have, their um, grade that they're going into, the date of the first day, and just some favorites, like what their favorite color is, what they want to be when they grow up. The other side, we do their favorite memories of the year. So we'll say on the last day of school, I'll interview them a little bit, like what was the best thing that happened this year? What was the, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do this again um, on this side and we'll get back to you. This is, this is very much the inspiration. I'm just going to do it again. So I'm going to be using sheet E from the weekly kit and use this like polka dot. That's so cute to cover up the top. And I'm going to actually use another freebie because I want to use those first day and last day stickers. There's a lot of uses for this page. You could use it for so many things. Uh, the monthly stickers that I have are really cute across this. You could track your health for each month. You could track memories. You could track birthdays. So many things. Uh, I know that there's 12 of these because that generally people use them one for each month. I just find that I don't look back on this very much. And so doing something special like a little bit of a scrapbooking thing that actually will be something fun for me to look back years to come really is the only way I end up using this. I just have a lot of monthly things to track actually in the month of that I rarely look here. That's why I do this. And I think it's fun. It's a fun little memory and I really do look back at it a lot. And I like, I just, it's special and I love those cute little kids and their cute pictures. And those pictures are an inch and a half. So I am going to use this ruler, which I love, to measure over an inch and a half. And I'll be able to do those those dots and get this ready because obviously I don't have the picture yet. I picked some colors that I thought would go with it. So with this ruler, I can actually measure an inch and a half exactly because I can just line it to this line right here. And then I can know where to put the dots. So I'm trying to think. I'm going to do youngest to oldest. And I'm just using these. These are the Zig Clean Color Dots. And... I'm going to put a dot all the way down. So we have Emma, Carson, Drew, Benji. Do yellow for Benj. And then on this side, I'm going to use, I'll use this like reddish pinky color for Emma. And this blue for Drew. And then the magenta color for the baby girl. Okay, so that is it for this side. And then I will add in some prompts here. And in this one, I just use this bottom to do a collage of pictures, and so I'll probably do that here. So I'm not going to do the other side because I'm not totally sure what I want to interview them as here, or if it's going to be bullet points, or if I'm just going to put like one of their favorite memory of the year down. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave that blank, and this page is done too. This page is the page right after that one, and I am going to be doing my goals here. So one of the problems I've had in the past is I just set too many goals. I make it too complicated. And I've had some years where that was awesome. And I've used systems that were much more extensive and really had you think about your annual goals and break them down. And But I have been feeling overwhelmed. And so 
I don't need to set a goal in every single area of life or anything like that. Although I, I do have a heart for it and it worked really well for me. So I'm not putting anything down. If that if that's what works for you, that is perfect. I'm just trying to simplify my life right now. And so I am going to be using one of my Moxie Life reflections, weekly reflections, just because all of the areas of life are down here. And I really like how they have the areas of life separated. And I'm using this one, the R the 76 kit, because it matches this washi that I've already started. So it just makes it easier. So I'm going to use this star washi up at the top just to have some color right up here. And I think I'm going to make like a goals title for this. I do have a couple. I have this titles page, which I'm going to be using a lot in here. But for this one, I don't have like a specific goals um, one. But I'm going to take these areas of life. So the Moxie Life system has it broken down into personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family relations, health and wellness, spiritual and personal growth, financial and physical environment. And I'm going to figure out what I want to use. So I for sure want to use health and wellness. I want to do a fun and recreation, um, family relationships, a physical environment. You know what? I might just use all of them. Okay, there's 28 lines in this. So if I do four on each side, that would be seven lines each. So I'm just going to put these down here and line them all up. So these are actually for your weekly reflections. I just wanted to use these titles to, just to make it cute on this page. And you could really use any, any of my R kits. So you could use, like this one's really bright and fun, the back to school kit colors. I would just go off the colors that you see of these and whichever one you like. And then you can set some annual goals in each of these areas. I really want to keep it to maybe like, one or two goals in each area of life and just think about them each month in kind of a more, you know, like a less, I don't know. I just need it to be simple. I don't know if any of you guys feel like me with goals, but I do love that setting goals at in July. It's like halfway through the year. I kind of have an idea of what I want. So I'm going to take these and I'll probably think about them off camera a little bit and fill this out but yeah I for sure want to get like a goals um, title up there just need to think about how I want to do that so that page is done as well so we have my goals my annual goals oh and another thing I want to do on this page is just add a couple of these let's see I'm gonna put this down here I think that's good okay let's see all right, so I am all done with the beginning of this planner. It's very kid-oriented because I do have five kids and my life kind of revolves around them. But I'm going to get started on the month. I will have a plan with me up soon. And then back here are all my notes pages. So I'm going to actually get to those as well. But I kind of want to do those in a voiceover so I can just kind of focus and do them. So I'm not going to do them today. I will, however, tell you that I will, am going to be using this sheet on each of these. And this is, um, these are my notes titles. It says Advent Day 16 because this was actually given with my Advent, but I did make this available to everyone. It is sheet 252. So if you search 252, you'll be able to find this. And I'm going to be doing, I have it all like planned out here. <laughs> you can see. Um, our favorite recipes. I'm going to do a house project one, a cleaning list, books, read, wish list, Christmas gift guide, seasonal bucket list, and a weight loss chart. And those are going to be my notes pages. I do like to leave some notes pages with nothing on them so that I have some. But yeah, that's what I'm going to get to here. So I'm going to leave the notes page for a different video. And then the last thing I'm going to do is this one. So this is a it's meant for you know contact numbers and I use this for my gift list I just don't use this ever for contacts and I found that I love keeping track of gift ideas for family so I don't do it for my kids who need like 
a bigger gift list. I'm actually going to make one of those for them. But this is more for like my parents and their Christmas gift ideas or my siblings and their birthday gifts or something like that. I'm going to keep it pretty simple here. I'm just going to put a washi across the top here. I think I'm going to use this star washi again. I really, really like this star washi. And I'll just take that up and cover up that right there, the contact title. And then I'm taking this gift list right here and I am going to, I've got to turn it upside down so I can put it down. I'm going to put it right there. So this is a great way to keep track of the siblings, friends, different things like that. And then I can put ideas down or you can put birthdays and what you're going to buy them. Anyway, it's just a really, it works really, really well for that. And I think, I think that's it. Another thing that I'm going to do is just take these out. I do not use their stickers. Not that I have anything against them at all, but I just don't like them being in here because I, I never, I just don't tend to use them. I don't totally get the white sticker thing. Like it doesn't stand out. I do like their, I used to use these a lot before I started making my own stickers. But yeah, so now these are out. I think that is all done. Like we're all set up. So watch for the notes page video that will be out soon. And thanks so much for watching. I will talk to y'all very soon. See you, bye.